Okay, we're gonna do an unboxing. This is my first ever brand new Louis Vuitton um, order, meaning anything I've gotten previously, I bought pre-loved. So I'm so, so excited and I wanna share it with you. Now we do have a little bit of a dent on the side, but there's an internal box, which I can see here, they've already damaged my first ever Louis Vuitton box. Okay, I pulled the tab. Let's open it up and see this amazingness. I'm probably gonna knock over my wreath. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. Just the box alone is gorgeous. Holy crap, guys, do you feel like you're opening it with me? It's beautiful. Just the box. Okay, on top is the little folder, and I pulled out, so I, I hit all my information so I could show you what's in here. This bag is called the Graceful PM. The PM is like the different size. Okay, here we have it out of the shipping box in all of its glory. It's absolutely beautiful. It's all wrapped up. The ribbon goes all the way around. I do have a little bit of damage right here on the end, but that's okay. As long as the bag's not damaged, we're good. All right, the ribbon's off. Inside of here is a little tiny envelope with a little tiny card so you could write on it if you're giving it as a gift. That's really, really cool. All right, here we go. See if I can figure out how you open it. Okay, here comes the bag. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty, you guys. It's so pretty. Oh, I love it. Love, love, love it. Okay, let's open it together. So it's got a magnet closure. Then we have some packing inside. Okay, let's try this again. I got the packing out. So we have a magnetic closure. And then you open it up and that's what it looks inside. And it has a big zipper pocket. Must have like some kind of authentication cards, I'm guessing, I'm not really sure. <laughs> but, um, oh my gosh, you guys, this is gorgeous. I'm happy with the um, the strap. I like, I like that it's a little bit wider here so it doesn't dig into your shoulder. And I love how um, Louis Vuitton is, Paris is printed on there. This is so, so, so amazing. This is what the bottom of it looks like. And I like that it's not huge, but it's big enough that, um, I can put things in it. Okay. I got a little wallet. We're going to open that next. And then, um, I'm going to show, um, all my accessories and how I'm going to pack this. I also love the little, um, I think it's a luggage tag that's on the side, kind of loops on there. And like the gold hardware, I think is really pretty on here too. The kind of um, cinches on the side. Thought I'd show you a close up of the print. Let's see if you can see where it reads Louis Vuitton on here. Inside a few random squares. And then this is the back, show you the little squares. Okay guys, I did put an organizer down in here that I got from Amazon. It just slid right down in there and I think you could totally pull it off with this. Um, it does make it look a little bit strange at the top, but I don't think it's bad. Um, I, th I still think it's cute. Um, yeah, I mean, I think you could totally do it. This is what the organizer looks like from the outside. And you can also take out the center piece if you didn't want that in there. I'll link this. And it does have a little slot on the side that you could slide your phone down in. I've seen people put iPads down in there, but I don't think my iPad would fit in there. But if you have a different bag, um, then um, this one might work for you. Just thought I would show it.
Thank you, Christina, for recommending this. Okay, guys, we're opening the next box. So we've got a box and a box, and then here's our little box. So I got a little um, credit card holder thingy. This is so cute, this little box. Sorry, we're all crooked here. I'm not used to filming with my phone. Okay, so we're gonna take the little ribbon off the box. This is the cutest little box. And this has the little envelope like the big purse did. And then this must slide open. Oh my gosh, and it has a cute little dust bag too. This is amazing. And then here is my little credit card holder, which matches my bag. I know there's a fancy name for it, but I'm not knowing that at this moment. But this is so, so cute. Love this. So you can put cards on both sides. I have one that matched my other bag, um, and I use it all the time. Like, this has just replaced my big wallet. Okay, guys, so I ran some errands, and I want to show you what I put in my purse. Okay, so here's the front of it, and I'll just show you what I have down in here. So down in here, I have my hand sanitizer spray, and then I have my, it's a oh, Louis Vuitton, it's dirty. Um, it's like a, a little key holder wallet thingy. I've had this for a couple years. And then I think this is called a pochette, I'm not sure. But I use this, and um, I keep electrolytes in here and my ketones that I add to my water. I like to put it in something that zips up like this so it doesn't spill inside the lining. And um, so then in this zip pouch, hang on, let me make sure my card numbers aren't showing. Okay, this is my old... Um, card thing thingy majiggy <laughs> um so that is what I have in the bag right now I don't really need that much in my purse like if I'm going to work or something like that then I'll take a work bag it's going to take some some getting used to because this bag is definitely smaller than what I'm used to Okay, so I attached my Bath & Body Works hand sanitizer to it, and then I wanted to just show you guys my wallet. I've had this for a couple years. It does have a pen mark on it that I can't get off. Um, but I don't usually keep this um, in my purse anymore. I've just consolidated down to the little card holder. But I just wanted to show you guys this. Okay, so I wanted to show you um, what it looks like down in there. So with that wallet, and with this pouch, my hand sanitizer, and my keys, and then in the little side pocket, right now I have two wallet card holders, but that's pretty much what I'm gonna carry in it, and that's good, because in my other bag, I just have way too much crap in there. Like right now, I think I have six things of hand sanitizer in there, like I don't need that in my bag. I mean, maybe I do, but um, I keep some in my vehicles too, so, okay, so that's what I'm going to use in my bag. Okay, I thought of some things that I normally keep in here that I didn't have in here, so I wanted to show you. So, my AirPods are in there, and then I have my wallet holders, and then I've already showed you these things, but I also keep my spare keys. I have locked my keys in my car before and ever since then I keep that in there. So I wanted to give you an update on what I would keep in here. I also want to mention that think about the opening of this bag. My other bag really opened up really wide like this kind of does. I guess it does but um, the cinching on the side limits um, I think how wide this bag can be, if that makes any sense. It's probably all in my head. Like I've been carrying the same bag for two years, so I think it's just gonna be um, an adjustment to it. But I just wanted to mention that where it's cinched on the sides, I think you're not gonna have 
quite as easy access to get into the bag. Although now that I'm talking about it, it really does open pretty wide. Okay, so I grabbed my computer so you can see um, the different um, prints that you can get this in. This is the Demier Azure canvas. And this, the bag that I got is the PM size. There's also a larger size. Wanted to mention that. Okay, and then this is the monogram print um, that you can get this in into. I, I wanted to get this, but it, it wasn't available. Um, so it forced me to try something different, which I'm glad that I did. But I still look at this and I think this is beautiful. And this is a smaller size. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. There's two sizes. This is what that one would look like inside. I love that cream color and the cream handle on that. Love it. I also wanted to show you the description. Of course, now the bag is out of stock online. Um, but you can also look if you have a store. But it says the um, graceful um, PM... Hobo in graphic Demir Abin. I know I'm saying that wrong. Canvas is a lightweight roomy bag to carry every day. Natural leather detailing and golden hardware add a refined touch. The body friendly design combines with subtle flat handle for stylish and comfortable over the shoulder wear. The magnetic closure and zippered inside pocket keep belongings secure. And then I thought you might want to know the dimensions. So here they are on the screen. So it's 13.8 inches in length by 11.8 inches in height. And the width of the bag is 4.3 inches. And then the card holder that I showed you, um, it is just called a card holder. I thought it had a fancy name, but it doesn't. So the measurements on this are 4.3 inches by 2.8 inches by 0.2 inches. So that's length height and width and that's um coated canvas um and grain cowhide leather and it comes in the other prints too here it is in the reverse monogram so one side is this looks like this and then the other side looks like this that is my other bag that i want that's reverse print <laughs> that i really really want but it's a little bit more expensive so there's that in a different print. Okay, guys, here's an update. I've decided that I'm going to return this. I ordered the one um, that I really wanted. Um, so this is going to be a long video. Um, I was going to make it two parts, but I'm not. Um, I'm just not wowed by this purse. So I am going to hold off uploading this until I get the other one in, and I'm going to unbox the other one and see if I love it more and then compare these two and tell you why I went with a different one. Okay guys, I got my new bag. This is the one that you guys just saw earlier. And this one is from Fashion File. Um, and it is a place that you can buy pre-loved bags. What I love about them is they have an interest-free um, layaway program. Um, so that's what I did with this bag. So I'm hoping that I love this bag. Um, what is in here is the Louis Vuitton um, on the go and the MM size. So it's not the biggest bag. Um, you saw me opening this one over here. And honestly, I just wasn't wowed by it. Um, and I want to just be in love with my bag like I was my bag I've been using for two years. Okay, let's open this. I wanna open it on camera. Okay, so here's the little card that it comes with. Must be my receipt in there. And then it's so pretty in here. It's wrapped in tissue paper. Oh, there's more stuff under it, but okay. So, and it says used is the new new, fashionfile.com. I hate to I'll see if we can keep from ruining it. <laughs> the sticker. So it's got it rolled in here a couple times. Okay. And so then it comes in a fashion file bag, which that's nice. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna show you the box. So down on the bottom, it has these little confetti pieces, and then it says thank you on this side, and then it says from the bottom of this box. And then it gives you a fashion file. Um, I like my money where I can see it hanging in my closet. So that's a nice touch. I like the black. I like the way this box is designed. Okay, now the description said this came with a dust bag. Of course, this is knotted. Okay, so I thought it was going to be a Louis Vuitton dust bag, but it's obviously their dust bag, which that's okay. I'm all right with that. Okay, so let's pull out the bag together. I'm so excited. Of course, it's stuck down in here. Okay, you guys can't see it. Oh my gosh, I'm wild. I wasn't wild when I pulled out the other one. This is in the reverse monogram print. And it has this um, certification of authentic authenticity. I can't talk. Louis Vuitton reverse monogram, giant on the go, MM. Um, and, then, and then it says it comes with a dust bag. Maybe there's a dust bag to it inside. That would be awesome. Um, it says this item has been inspected by our team of expert authenticators and is backed by our lifetime guarantee of authenticity. If you remove the bag, if you remove the tag, you own the bag. So there must be um, a return policy. Once this tag has been removed, this item is yours. No, really, this item may not be returned without this tag attached. Oh my gosh, you guys, I freaking love this bag already. Okay, let me adjust my camera. Well, actually, yeah, hang on. I really want you guys to feel like you are opening this bag with me from home. Okay. So here's the handles on top. So this is like the giant print. And then well, it's the same on both sides, but one side is darker and one side is lighter. And then let's look at the bottom. So the different prints on the bottom. And this is used so the corners look good. I'm not seeing any marks so far. Here is this part. Flip it around and look at the other side. Looking good so far. Okay, so let's see what's inside of here. So it has this little clip to open it. Oh, it does have the dust bag inside. Okay, on top we have some packing, little bubble wrap, and then here is the dust bag, so that's awesome. We didn't get gypped. And then um, here it is down inside. Oh my gosh, I almost had a heart attack. I thought that was a pin mark, but it's a loose thread. And now there is, it's a little, well, I think it's just dust maybe. Um, I'm curious to see where this bag was made. Okay, so it was made in France because there's different places they can be made. So I'm super happy so far with inside. Although there is a little bit of like a scratch along the side here. My camera's not picking it up. Guys, I'm loving this so far. Okay, so then inside it has these handles that come out that are a little bit longer. Now this is the newer on the go. The first version of this um, had different straps. So I've heard that they made these just a little bit longer and um, before it was in like this print. So I like the black straps. I like that a lot. Okay. So then down inside of the bag, we have a zipper pocket. Let's make sure the zipper works. It does. Oh, I like it. I like the feel of it. And then it has two little slip pockets, which I love these little slip pockets. This one, 
over here didn't have those two little pockets. I like to put my little card holder down in there, even though it's better to have it zipped in, but you know, when you're on the go, <laughs> that is um, sometimes easier to do. When you're out shopping and you're just trying to get your your card back in your purse after you made a purchase, it's kind of nice. And that's um, tight enough that it's pretty secure. Oh my gosh, you guys. I love, love, love this bag. Oh my goodness. I'm super happy with this. Okay, I'm not taking that tag off yet, just in case. But I'm going to compare this one to the first one that I opened for you. And I'm going to tell you what it is about it that I like this one more than the other one. Okay guys, I opened up my card and I wanna show you what this says. It says thank you, tag us with hashtag fashion file. And we've got some more of the little um, tissue paper things. And then it says shop, sell, and repeat. Shop or sell us your items online or at one of our in-store locations. We offer the highest buyout options and quickest payouts. Sell it back within a year for 75% off the purchase price. So whatever I just bought from them, um, I can click the sell back link in my account and they will give me up to 75% of my purchase price, which that's nice. That's really good. Um, so, you know, if you use this for a while and it's not for you, then this would be an easy way um, to resell your bag. But I love this little holder. I took, and it had my receipt in there. I love all these little details. Like this is super cute. Okay guys, I have these bags side by side, but I am about to clip the tag. So I want you guys to know how much that I really do love this, um, that I'm going to clip this. I'm going to do it off camera. I don't want to damage my bag. I'm going to be very careful. Okay guys, the tag is off. It's officially mine. I mean, I could still sell it back for 75%, but I won't get the full price of my money. Okay, guys, so I have packed my new purse. This is the one I'm going to keep, and I'm going to send this one back. And um, so I thought I would show you the differences and why I like this one more. So, like, I packed what I could potentially pack in here if I was flying. Um, I may be flying some... Um, to do some different wedding things. My daughter's getting married this year in September. So this is packed as if I was going to the airport, but I wouldn't have water in here. I'd just have an empty water bottle. But, so there's what this one looks inside. I'm gonna go through everything. And then this is what this one looks like. So let's see if we can't look down in both, <laughs> both bags at the same time. Hang on, let's make this happen. Okay, so here's the difference. So this one's considerably smaller. I think it's because it's cinched on the side compared to this one. But this one, I mean, could serve its purpose for an everyday purse. It's just not big enough for me, even if I weren't traveling. Okay, so I have my cute little Bath & Body Works hand sanitizer on the outside. And okay, so what I have been able to fit in here is my MacBook Air. So that fit in there. And then I was also able to fit my um, iPad, which my I need a new cover for it. This thing is trashed. Okay, and then also down in here, so the handles can come out, I put a little Fiji water. I'm on auto ship for Fiji water. Okay, so the, down in these two pockets, I'm going to keep my um, spare keys. If you watched my one video, I was out shopping one day. I was actually filming that day, and I locked my keys in my car. So ever since then, I keep my spare keys in there. And then I just thought you guys might want to see what I pack in my bag. Um, and then in here, this is a little key fob, but in here I keep um, like pain relievers, like some Advil or Tylenol. It's better to put it in something like that rather than like a bottle that's going to rattle around and make a bunch of noise. Okay, so then I have this little 
travel Lancome bag. I like that you can see in here and I'm determined to keep the inside of this bag um, clean. So I'm gonna keep my pen down in here. So what I have in here is my little dry bar um, brush. I have some body mist spray and then I have a spray hand sanitizer and then I have I love Lip Sense lip gloss, so I have those in there. And then this is my favorite lip gloss from Bath & Body Works. And then I have Strawberry Pound Cake Hand Cream, and then I have a pen down in there. I don't want any pen marks. And I'm also going to put some masks down in here. My camera cut out at what point, I don't know, but I'm gonna show um, off camera, I'm going to pack this and show what would fit in here versus in here and what it would look like. Okay, so everything fit in here. It's not organized as well, but um, the only thing that won't go down in here is my MacBook Air. Okay, so this is what this would look like. There's the hand sanitizer on the outside, and then here's down inside. So we have the water, and then we have the iPad. Okay, and in this pocket, um, my card holder, the AirPods, and then the the perfume. But it the um. I don't have those two little pockets here, so in the bottom, I just had to put um, my spare key down in there. You can't see. My spare keys down in there, and um, my little medicine pouch. And then here's this pouch. So that is the difference of those two, and why I like this one better. And I like the longer handle on this one versus just the short. I like that you have the two handle options. Um, what else? I like the structure of this. This is more of a hobo style, but I do like this, but I like this one more. Um, I do want to say that this one is way more affordable um, than this one. This one, um, like if you go on their website, which this one is really hard um, to get your hands on unless you have a store to go into, which I don't. Um, so that's why I liked getting it on Fashion File because I could actually find the bag. Like I could actually buy it. Like um, it doesn't seem to be available very often online. Okay, that's it on comparing those bags. Okay, I repacked this one, so this would, is what it would look like inside, like on a daily basis for me. Probably won't put the water in there, but I could. Um, I'm usually in a vehicle, so I just throw the water onto the seat of the truck or the car. Um, so that is what it would look like. And I'm probably not going to clip this closed. Let me grab my car keys and show you what it looked like with my car keys in there not my spare keys. Okay, one more thing I can show you is the organizer that I bought from Amazon, and I will link this down below. I'm gonna put that in this bag and then um, see what it looks like and if it would organize me better, and maybe it will. Okay guys, I really like this organizer. Um, the way I packed though, it doesn't really go closed at all, um, but I think I like it. I tried it on and it's still comfortable and I could definitely hook it here, but let me show you what the organizer looks like inside. Okay, so I took this bag and put it on this side over here on this side of the organizer and then put the water bottle down in here and this little bag I put down in there then my car keys are right here. I like that it really zips well. Did I put anything in here? No, I didn't put anything in there. And the center section, I put my spare keys. And then back here, I put my little pouch um, with my medicine and then my AirPods in there. And then 
back here I put um, my card holder and my um, perfume yeah so I like that I think I'm gonna keep that in there that is super super cool and then I can put um, some more stuff I think this will definitely end up making my bag heavier but um, in this compartment I'm probably gonna put a pen I don't know the problem with putting a pen in there is if I forget to close it or it's not closed when I go to put my pen into there then um, it can end up marking the center of the bag so I think I'd rather have it in here and have to pull it out so then I have to physically put it back in the bag before I put it back in there um, but honestly if I'm using a pen I'm usually in my vehicle so I have pens on the seat or in the organizer in there so yeah guys I like the organizer again Christina thank you so so much Christina is the one that told me about this bag she um, has this bag but in um, it's black I love this bag you guys love 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 this bag holy smokes I'm not sure if I showed how it has the little monograms on each side. I'm all over this place. This video is gonna be 12 days long. Okay guys, this is a giveaway. We're gonna do a giveaway. I am almost to 5,000 subscribers and you guys are the reason, not the total reason, but a lot of the reason I'm able to buy a bag like this. Like your support means the world to me and I want to give back to you guys. I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give away something amazing let me find it before I forget I wanted to show you that my iPad goes down in here too and there's this big pocket back here that you could potentially put your phone in um, my I have paint all over my phone from where I was painting but your phone would fit in there too but I never hardly ever put my phone into my bag so there the iPad will fit in there too Okay guys, it just dawned on me that I don't need that little bag. I have all these little pockets. So I put my sprays and my cream over here in the center thing. I put my brush and my lip gloss and my pen down in there. Yes, and I even have this back here. Yes, that's so much better. And then it'll, it'll go closed better. Okay guys, so the giveaway is going to be I'm trying to get it so you can see everything um, this is brand new and it's the little card holder I got this to go with my bag that I'm returning so I thought what the heck I'll give it to you guys and um, so this is what you'll get I'm so excited to be able to do this and I'm going to can you see it I'm going to um, send with you the um, the receipt and so it has I don't want to sh I don't know if it matters but there's a gift receipt in here so if you wanted to go in store and you know use this if you wanted a different print to exchange it or if you already had one and you wanted to use it a credit towards something else I'm pretty sure you could do that I don't know <laughs> I'm not a big Louis Vuitton person but and so then you'll also get um, the little box that it came with the teeny tiny little dust bag and the little um, ribbon that came around it and it has a teeny tiny little card in here if you would like to give this as a gift so that is what you'll get right there okay so I'm gonna let this giveaway run for a month I want lots of people to have an opportunity to um, enter this giveaway so this giveaway to enter this giveaway um, you have to be subscribed to my channel like this video um, let's see so down in the comments I need either your email or your Instagram handle name. I have to have those. And there'll also be a corresponding post um, on Instagram. 
for an extra entry. Okay, so this is kind of a celebration. I got this bag because Jillian is getting married, so I thought this would be fun, a fun way to enter this giveaway. So down in the comments below, do all the things I just told you, and then if you have any wedding advice for Jillian or for me being the mother of the bride, give me you like your best advice. You could tell me a funny story about when you got married, but something wedding related, something that you would think would be helpful, like, it's going to get crazy because her wedding dress is in her hometown and we have to get it across the country. So if anybody's done anything like that, flown with a wedding dress, we'll take your tips. Okay, guys. So that is it. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and stay safe, everyone.